growth of the ICT sector in Nigeria is remarkable, but one crucial issue is how it can enable economic empowerment and prosperity for Nigerians. At the ICTL Expo 2016, key players in the industry discussed the role of ICT in economic growth and poverty reduction for a nation like Nigeria. I want to tell the house today, ICT, it is a major tool to any economic development in any part of the world. In fact, we should build it strongly. It is a major tool. And when you are saying empowering through ICT, what do we mean? We must become producers. Again, one sentence came out slightly, but it is actually a strong sentence that for everything I'm holding, a Chinese man is thinking of how to produce it, not how to buy it. So if we, as a nation, are going to put our people to work and not take the output from the lowest of the low in China that has the power of the state behind them, or the United States, or Europe, or any of these emerging economies, then we have to decide on what we want to encourage and protect. So I, I think we need to be pragmatic um, as a society and really just look at that common interest. Yes, we may have to live with something that's not as great as the best you can get out of China, but let's set goals and let's set benchmarks um, for us to improve and actually build capacity so we can do better. Stakeholders speak further on how ICT can boost Nigeria's economy. The entry barrier um, to start producing results in ICT is much shorter. Um, in six months, you can take a young graduate, train them in certain skills, and they can start being productive um, in delivering services, um, servicing technology, um, or building applications that can be used even beyond Nigeria. So we think we need to key in um, to ICT and the potential of ICT um, to make an impact. ICT can also be applied in other fields, agriculture, manufacturing, to make our businesses more productive. So that's, that's what we think the role ICT plays um, in further developing our economy. The first thing you need to do is build a website. You know, what, what is your skill? What is your degree? How are you going to further your knowledge in that uh, department? And then once you know what you want to do, build a website. It doesn't have to be the best website in day one. It can just be a small website introducing, introducing yourself, introducing a service or two that you can offer. Once you, t once you have a website and it's online and you hashtag it, use social media to further the website by writing about a cause and then hashtagging your website with reference, then it gets more advertising. Facebook has a billion users. So if you have a cause and you put your web, if you can write about a cause or reference a cause and put your website in that reference, then the reach is up to a billion, depending on how good you can write and speak about the cause and the relevance of that cause. If it's not ICT tackling unemployment, can you guess any other thing that can tackle unemployment in this knowledge-driven society today? Forget your phone at home for 24 hours and then answer the question. ICT drives the world today, irrespective of color, irrespective of whether you're a man or woman, that is gender, irrespective of whether you're short or tall, wherever you're from, once you have the knowledge and you have the skill, you are the man. So what that means is that some people say that ICT erase jobs. Yes, ICT erase lower jobs and create higher jobs. ICT is the only key today that is giving hope creating a level play field between the rich and the poor, between the poor man's child and the rich man's child. Because without ICT in the world today, there is nothing, there's nothing the developing country can do. Take it 
from television to any other sector, I take it because this is a television. Today and tomorrow, immediately we have what we call ubiquitous internet access in Nigeria or the broadband internet in Nigeria. I can tell you that up to 70% of Nigerians will not go home to watch television. They will watch their television live on their iPad or you know, on their handset. So the dynamics of watching television will change. And you can also see that the, the, the advertising rate or budget is also going towards that line. Okay? So take a they look at the other areas like agriculture, like fashion and the rest of it. There are a lot of young men and women today that cannot afford shops. Okay? They just design from their homes and they post it on the Instagram or web or, 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 or Facebook. And then people order for those things and those things, you know, uh, uh, people come to buy them. So we don't have any other option than to develop this country in the manner that on the basis of ICT. And, and I tell you on the, on, on, the, on the very last note, our hope as a nation, our hope, what we're looking for is no longer in our soil. Our wealth is no longer in our soil. Our wealth is now in our head. It's what we can do with our head. So our educational facilities, our, 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 our teaching must be updated in, in such a way that it's in line with global practice. ICT indeed holds great promises for Nigeria in the area of innovation, enterprise development, and an economic revolution. All this hangs on the right policy framework and infrastructure to drive the entire value chain.